Hi everyone, it's a custom Android and uh, we, are we are doing a review on a Trip Android C again mod 10.1 by Trip and Raver for HTC One X and uh, it's powered by TDF 005 kernel also by Trip and Raver. So let's see. Okay, this custom ROM uh, comes with uh, Google Apps included in zip file so you get uh, custom ROM, custom kernel and the Google Apps all integrated into zip file so you just do a installation for, from a recovery and it's all there so those are the apps you get and uh, let's see phone info so okay it's android 4.2.2 kernel version and the build number here you can also see build date okay i have done some uh, benchmark tests and now I'll show you here is the quadrant standard with uh, 5, 3, 2, 1 and total benchmark with 14, 6, 5, 7 and uh, here is the Velamo HTML5 with 18, 73 Velamo Metal with uh, 4, 5, 6 and uh, CF Bench with overall score 13, 3, 8, 7 and now let's take a look at notification, ok, quick toggles and here are the settings, uh, everything is pretty much Sigan mode and uh, here we have some extra in device settings with, uh, in advanced, so here's the trip android settings and here we have a uh, Trip Android framework with uh, power saving mode. Uh, we can use TDF power saving mode to save a power and still use the device properly. I didn't check it. Uh, swipe to wake, uh, which is a, a gray out, so uh, the, the kernel does not support it yet. Uh, the USB, we can turn the USB charge, fast charge, on. Or off and uh, we have settings for backlight to disable button backlight and uh, we have integrated Nvidia smart dimmer and it's turned on by default so all those settings are are the default one I didn't change anything okay we have a profiles just a quick overview And uh, let's do a quick overview on rest of the settings. So here in the interface we have settings for launcher to adjust our home screen, like grid size, home screens, number of screens on the home screen, default screen, uh, stretch screens, search bar to enable or disable it, to hide icon labels, and uh, we have options for scrolling, transition effect, also the indicator and uh, in app drawer we can adjust orientation hidden apps widgets scrolling indicator and so on dock and the general with the auto rotate screen and the full screen mode okay that's launcher now let's see the lock screen like screen security we can change the background, the battery status. Okay, we also have a, a C clock widget in uh, Trip Android Second Mode 10.1. The teams and the system. Here we can change the status bar. Quick setting panel. notification drawer 
the power menu clock widget C clock notification light battery light and the hardware keys and also we have a super user instead of see again mode super user and that's pretty it the the trip and droid Sega mod is very fast no doubt about it and uh, all games I have tried run pretty fluid and uh, I also installed a trickster mod and I'll show you uh, the default values you get it's uh, OK TCP convention control is set on cubic the IO control read ahead buffer size is set on 256 the scheduler is deadline here are the min max CPU frequencies and also the CPU governor control by default is set on trip Android and you have all those other and the smart dimmer so okay that's it thank you very much for watching us and uh, see you in next review